We have still a long way to go uh, towards gender equity, but the progress we have made is fragile. And if we don't safeguard it, nurture it, and continue to build upon it, there is a real danger, in my view, in the years to come that it could go backwards. I'm Nicola Sturgeon, I'm the First Minister of Scotland. I think if more women are in leadership positions, that acts as a catalyst for change elsewhere. And um, there's a wealth of evidence that whether we look at governments or the boards of companies or other organisations, if there is greater gender equity in the representation on these bodies, then decision making is more inclusive and better. If you look at climate change, women disproportionately are on the front line in climate change, uh, particularly in the Global South, women have uh, child caring responsibilities disproportionately, have the responsibility to uh, get food for their, their families, uh, work in agriculture, and these are uh, the, the women that are impacted by climate change right now. Equally, uh, women will be on the front line of implementing the solutions to climate change. So if we can better involve women in those decisions, then the outcomes are going to be better, better represent what is needed and be more sustainable as a, a result. Other thing I would say though is, it's not enough in and of itself to have women in positions of leadership. I think there is much more to be done to support women in those positions and to continue to tackle and challenge some of the barriers that women, even at the highest levels of decision making, still face. Women uh, have been fighting these battles for generations. We have made progress, but sometimes it feels as if we take one step forward and two steps back. So we need to keep powering on uh, to achieve equity because we are most definitely overdue for equity.